So I'll um, draw a little quick sketch of what we have right now. Okay, something like that. We know C equals 25 feet. We know DC, DT equals zero. Uh, we know that B is equal to 15 feet. So this is a good refresher, right? DB, DT is equal to positive three feet per second because it's growing, right? DB, is, B is growing. Uh, A, we do not know. And D, A, D, T, that's what we're trying to find, okay? So ultimately, so our unknown, um, we just determined that that is DADT. We don't know that. And we don't know uh, A, okay, at this time. So DADT, that's what we want to leave as our final unknown, okay? So right now, we're not going to be concerned with that. What we want to find out is what is A at this time. And let's do so. Um, so in order to find this unknown, this A, is what we're going to do is um, find an equation. So find equation uh, relating uh, the variables, okay, the variables, not the rates yet, but the variables. So A, B, and C in this case. So what we have, um, what is pretty useful, is a right triangle, right? So what we're going to use is the Pythagorean theorem. So these are related by A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Okay, so that was step number five. And then what we're going to do, um, what we just learned in the last uh, section, is we're going to implicitly, implicitly, uh, derive and usually with respect to time so with respect to uh, time as it passes okay so what that means is we're going to ddt both sides so ddt of a squared plus b squared um, equal to ddt of c squared so that's going to turn into um, we're going to take the derivative of each of these variables and then have tacked on to the end DADT, DBDT, and DCDT, respectively. So what that's going to be is uh, a 2A times DADT, because we don't really know how uh, A is, re is related to T just yet, plus 2B times DBDT, because we don't know how that's related, and finally, sorry, I squished it in, 2C times DCDT. Okay, so I'll rewrite this on the next slide. So we have 2A times DADT, okay, plus 2B times DBDT, and finally our 2C times DCDT. So here we, we obtain this equation from implicitly deriving with respect to time, okay? All right, so now the next thing is to uh, solve for the unknown, for unknown. Okay, and our unknown in this case, our final unknown is uh, going to be DADT. But for now, uh, we do know B, we know DBDT, we know C, we know DCDT, but we also don't know this A, right? So what we're going to do is go back to our original uh, equation that related the variables, okay? And we're going to, we, since we know B and C, we could solve for our A, all right? So A is going to equal C squared minus B squared uh, and then square rooted. So C was equal to 25 feet, and then that'll be squared minus B, which is 15 feet, and that's squared, and the square root of that. So this will turn out to be a 20 uh, feet uh, foot length. Okay, so now we know our A, we know B, we know C, we know DB, DT, and DC, DT. So now what we're going to do is basically just plug those in and solve for D, A, D, T. Okay, so I'll write this on the next slide so we have enough room to finish. So... We have 2a times DADT, okay, plus 2b times DBDT, and equals 2c times DCDT. So let's write down uh, what the value of our variables are. So a is equal to 20 feet, b is equal to uh, 15 feet, c is equal to 25 feet, uh, DCDT is equal to zero feet per second, right? Remember, the, the length of the ladder we are assuming does not change. DBDT is equal to three feet per second, and DADT is our unknown. So that's our question mark, okay? So let's plug these values in. So we have two times 20 feet, and then times our DADT, that's our one unknown, that's our final unknown, plus two times B, so that's a 15 feet, and then times three feet per second, Okay, is equal to 2C, so that's 25 feet, 
and then times zero feet per second. So the right side, that's just gonna become a zero, right? So we have equals zero. And then we have a 40 feet times dA dt. And then plus uh, two times three is six times 15 uh, is a 90. And this will be feet squared per second, okay? So then this, if we subtract that over, uh, we're gonna get 40 feet times dA dt is equal to negative 90 feet squared per second. And if we divide both sides by 40 feet, divide by 40 feet, what we're gonna get is dA dt, dA dt is equal to negative nine over four, and then we have a feet per second, okay? So this is basically the rate at which the top is sliding down uh, on our triangle, remember? So this will be, um, because then after a certain time, then it'll be something like that, okay? So see how the length here increases, the, the B increases and the A, the, the height of the ladder is decreasing. So it's going down at a rate of negative uh, nine over four feet per second. Also known as, uh, so you could also write this as a decimal, right? Negative 2.25 feet per second. So the negative sign here, it doesn't, um, it doesn't show like direction or anything. I guess, it, I, I mean, I guess it means downward, um, but it, it, could, it basically shows a decrease uh, in the value or in the length, okay? All right, so that was an example of a related rate, uh, kind of an overview of how, of the steps to, of how to approach one of those. And um, I'll be doing a couple more practice problems or a couple more examples in the practice problems video. Just me and a friend Feeling kinda groovy Working on a